Back again with more yummy coffee and milk recipes inspired by the Cuban culture. Eddie Zamora, creator of Yum Yum Foodie, is here with more yummy recipes. Yes. Thanks for being here, Eddie. And, and, and let's talk really quickly because I was asking you during the break, uh, the difference between whole milk and non-fat in mm -hmm. coffee. Big difference when it comes to taste. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the taste is obviously a personal preference, but mm -hmm. it's about the viscosity. Mm -hmm. So you, the, the creaminess that you're going to get in a latte with, with non-fat as opposed to whole milk, it's, it's a night and day difference. Yeah. It's one of those things, well, if you've never tried it before, I guess, but if you've always had whole milk and you try to switch over, it, it's you a bit of like a challenge. It. No, you I don't. But this is a great <laughs> way for adults to really get that calcium that comes right. from the milk, right? Absolutely, yeah, no, yeah. exactly. You're going to get... You know, you're going to get all, all the calcium you need, and then in this particular recipe, yeah. you're, you're going to have a little bit of fun with oh, some rum. A little adult. In said uh, recipe. Oh, good. Well, let's get right to it. What, what is this one called? It's called, uh, I call this one Radio Bemba. Uh -huh. uh, literally translated means radio lips. Radio and lips. Uh, essentially, Radio Bemba is the neighborhood gossiper. Okay? <laughs> So, you know, my mom would be like, why don't you tell Radio Emba over there to be quiet because she's sticking her head out the window and being nosy in the neighborhood. Uh, so I always say, if you have enough of these, uh -huh. you're going to turn into the neighborhood gossip. Oh, so let's, let's, you know, let's... Yeah. Unless you already are. Right? No, no. 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 You know, and, sure. But it's so sad because it's so true. You come from a Cuban uh, uh, family. Yeah. I come from a Mexican family. And they sit, I don't want to say just sit around, but they do. They, they invite their neighbors. They have coffee. Yeah. It's really a tradition. I mean, it this is. is what they do on a daily basis. It is. And I mean, where I'm from originally in Miami, every day, midday, everything stops. The you know, It's like a, a whistle goes off and everybody yeah. stops what they're doing and goes and have as oh, coffee. I love that. And then that. just babbles about whatever's yeah. going on in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the neighbors. Okay. The neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All so right. So what do we got? Right here is Radio Bemba. What mm. I've done is I've taken milk, again, a little bit of evaporated milk, then, of course, rum, rum, mm. and then some of our espresso that we had in here. Got it. And uh, we're going to shake, shake her up, up. Shake her up. Shake okay. her up. And again, it's super simple. If Wait. you want to spice her up, probably want to put a lot more coffee but gotcha so we'll go here and I like to make it like super coffeeed up so if mm -hmm. you don't mind I'm gonna add oh a yeah no 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 you top. go for it you know just to make it exciting so so this is ice though this is more of exactly. an ice no, coffee it's a, it's a cocktail it's oh, essentially it's a, a coffee cocktail, cocktail right oh. and then a little bit of the garnish on top you have to let some espresso beans float on top of course of course to make it look pretty <laughs> there we go I know there's a look Cuban joke this. somewhere in there about people swimming but no there it is <laughs> Right there, some espresso beans on top for garnish. Now, this looks, and well, it just, you made it in less than 30 seconds. It's super it's easy super to make, exactly. It's super easy to make, it, right? All you need, of course, is the shaker, the rum, the ingredients, shake them all up with some ice, and I mean, you are, you're good to go. Very simple. So during the day, you can have your other recipe coffees, your other coffees, and then at nighttime, you can switch to this, uh, and then be up all night. Or you can say it's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you can probably start your day. I know, I'll toast to that, Eddie. <laughs> I'll toast to that. Cheers. These are cheers. These are wonderful, wonderful recipes. And give us the website where people can go and, and, and look up more well, recipes. Well, they can milk. go to gotmilk.com. Mm -hmm. Gotmilk.com is going to have all the recipes. I'm at the Yum Yum Foodie across the board on social mm -hmm. media. I love interacting with people, so please mm -hmm. ask me what you want to ask, mm -hmm. especially if it's food-related. Go for it. I'm there to answer. Yeah. yeah. Good, 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 good. And as we take... Uh, a look at your videos some more talk to us for those people that may just be tuning in about your blog and about your your videos here yeah so uh, my blog is really about my life experiences mm -hmm. and they just happen to relate about food wine and travels that's that's what I love uh -huh. at the end of the day we all we've got is our is our memories and our experiences oh, that that so they true. they can't take away from us so I love going and, and showing you what's up in the world of food, wine, and travel. Yeah, and so do you just do different recipes with all sorts of uh, Cuban traditional food, or do you just kind of no, all love over the place? No, I experimenting and everything okay. because, I mean, I've lived in Los Angeles now for 14 years, so okay. I have really fallen in love with Mexican culture and Mexican mm -hmm. food and learning about that, and it's it's kind of the, the food is kind of like music. It's a universal, it's a universal language. People always connect, even though we may not speak the same language. We can yes. always connect in some way, shape, or form with food. Isn't that and, so and true? And coffee also brings together. It doesn't matter which country you're from, unless England. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> coffee is all about it, right? Now let's talk a little bit more about coffee because mm -hmm. I love coffee, but I don't even know sometimes what to order because there's so many different types of coffee. Yeah. Okay, so when you order a cafe latte, mm -hmm. that, that's with the milk, right? right. The, the milk, steam milk. 
Yep, steamed milk. And exactly. coffee. Steamed milk and coffee, exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so it's, it, it, you recommend we use whole milk Absolutely. all the time. Yeah, I mean, okay. well, I just, I love, again, that, that texture. Creamy. It does, okay. it. it's super creamy. And then a cortadito, which we drink a lot in Miami, mm -hmm. is essentially half espresso, half milk. So you see them sometimes wow. on menus and they like to call them a cortado. Okay. That is a cortadito, which is, you know, in Miami, yeah. it's a half milk, half coffee. Half milk. And yeah. really quickly, because we're out of time, the best way to make espresso. Best way to make espresso, just mm -hmm. like my grandmother made it on the stove top, one of those bad boys like in, yeah. I'm, I'm kidding, it's, it's, it's great to make it that way, but if you have one of those amazing espresso machines, come on. Yeah, you might as well <laughs> yeah. use that, right? Yeah. Good, yeah. good. And don't forget to go to gotmilk.com for more um, information. And you can also visit uh, Eddie's website and blog, which is? The yumyumfoodie.com. Yumyumfoodie.com. Thank you so much. It has been so much fun. Much. Now it's time to drink coffee. Yeah. More yeah. coffee. Absolutely. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Stay with us, everybody. More Central Valley today when we come back.